Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about the obesity epidemic that's hitting the United States of America. As you can see, there is McDonald's. Can you get a shot of that? Right next door we got Long John Silver's, Hardee's, Freddy's. Then across the street here, you can see Fazoli's, Andy's, there's a Burger King. I mean, they're all side by side. What I'm talking to you today about is, is obesity. And uh, we just watched a documentary on this about how bad it's getting. Now, me personally, I would not come to McDonald's. I wouldn't eat at Long John Silver's. I won't eat at Hardee's. I won't go to Burger King or Fazoli's. If I, if I want Italian food, I can cook at home much better than Fazoli's. Last time I was there years ago, the food was so bland, it had no flavor. I can do better than that. I can cook better than that. It's getting, especially after the pandemic, that it's getting hard to go out to eat anywhere. It's getting expensive. Uh, my good friend Sandra and I, we went out to eat. It was like $30 for two hamburgers and two fries. All right, let's let's go inside. Okay. Okay. Now we're in the car, out of the wind. I just want to show you outside because uh, we're a visual society. All these fast food joints, and we're parked outside one of them right now, and um, we're in the car. Nice, warm, and cozy in here, isn't it, Sandra? Yes, it is. It is very warm. Yes. So, um, like I said. We just seen a documentary on the obesity epidemic. Sandra, you have a few words to say about it? Well, I I realize that there's a lot of, you know, overweight people and since the beginning there's more and more. Absolutely. As the years pass. It, it's uh you can Google search this, the um obesity rate on the cdc.gov. I think it's like it's over 50% of the population now. So I think it's closer to 70% across the entire United States population, all age brackets. I think that, 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 that's incredible. That's, and what amazes me is people, it, it's getting worse and worse, and yet we're celebrating obesity now. I mean, uh, people, uh, they won't do anything to change their diet either and you would think with the high price of, of what fast food is becoming I mean uh, um, fast food is not cheap anymore and just the other day we we, we went somewhere and now we're, we're sworn we're going to like um, there's three boys right now two of them are obese one's obese one's overweight and the other's okay, but one of them is becoming obese. Look at that. They just came from McDonald's. Can you get that? Well, they're gone now, but dang it. That's all right. Um, anyway. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to slow down here while I'm talking to you, so I'm not talking too fast. A lot of the YouTubers talk too fast. I tend to do that sometimes. But here's my take on what's going on here. I think, because I mentioned on one of my podcasts and my other YouTube videos, that Americans are going to start cooking at home. That will be the new trend. It's going to get too expensive to go out to eat and unpredictable. You don't know who's going to be open and who isn't. Um, it's, we, we went out to eat, it was two burgers and two fries, right? Right. $30. Now, you can't do that every day. No. 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 We, we can't, we can't do $30 a day for two burgers, two, we, we just can't afford that. Nope. So, we're going to have to uh, cook at home. I mean, I get home cooked meals. Sandra cooks something up, or I'll cook something up. Yes. And we'll sit there and 
Well, it's a lot cheaper. Yeah, you get what you want, when you want, how you want it. And you know what's in it. Another girl just came out of McDonald's and she's obese. Not that that I, I'm purposely watching it, but that's the majority of our population today. I am 50, 50 years old and um, I'm probably 20 pounds overweight, but I'm not morbidly obese. I think my BMI is like 25. So I need to lose one percentage point. I need to lose about 20 pounds. Is it easy? No, it's not going to be easy. We were watching this documentary and this one guy, he was like 40 years old. He's younger than me, a whole decade younger, but he looked a decade older. He's 40, I'm 50, but he looked like he's 55 or 60. Mm -hmm. Didn't he? He did. He did. Um, I'm going, what's up with that? Is it because he's big? Well, he doesn't have any hair either. But just his weight alone made him look older. If So I know I need to lose weight. I admit it. I admit I got 20 pounds to lose. And I take full responsibility for the food that I eat. Um, if I look like I got a gut hanging out, that's my fault. I know I need to do something about it. Like I said, I take full responsibility. I didn't blame nobody but myself. The only way that I'm going to lose weight is I have to hit the gym, watch what I eat, <coughs> drink water instead of soda, and, and, and just exercise and a good diet. Well, that alone will keep you fit. But Americans are becoming lazy. I don't think most Americans know how to cook. Do they, Sandra? Sometimes I wonder. Because I, I think they just don't know how to cook. They um, they eat out most of the time. That's going to get expensive, guys. Especially if you have a whole bunch of children. I, it was just $30 for the two of us. Uh -huh. I can't imagine having children. How much that's costing families. Is You can't afford your lattes every day. You can't afford to feed your family at McDonald's. Donald's every day. You have to eat at home, folks. You're going to have to eat at home. Eating out should be a treat. There shouldn't be this many fast food joints. I mean, just in the few feet, I'm seeing Burger King, McDonald's, Long John Silver, Hardee's, Freddy's, that's five, Fazoli's six, Andy's over there, that's seven. Seven fast food joints and just one city block. Seven. Uh, we just filmed them all, didn't we? We did. At the beginning of this video, we showed it, showed them to you. There's seven right here in just this block alone. Um, I'm not saying every block of Springfield's like this, but a lot of them are just like this, actually. this, uh, this I chose this block that's the most heavily populated block as far as fast food restaurants that I know about. I mean, most have at least three or four. This has seven of them. Seven. Seven. That's incredible. And just this one city block here. Seven fast food joints. And I don't know. It. I just think when it cost us $30 times 30 days, that's $900 in one month you could spend eating out. Sometimes we go to Hong Kong Inn. We eat Chinese. Mm -hmm. That's generally healthier than the other places even for the two of us if 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 we didn't order the steam pot stickers even then it's almost 20 bucks just for the two of us mm -hmm. yes. two orders of chicken two sweet and sour chicken specials right yeah it's almost 20 bucks i mean that's incredible that's incredible just that's just for two of us that's 10 to 11 dollars each and that gets expensive. You can't afford to do that daily. Um, like I said, it's just so expensive going out to eat. Um, I hope that drives people to eat less at fast food and makes people eat at home more. Because, like I said, it's unstable going out to eat. You don't know who's open, who isn't. Especially after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's really unpredictable. 
Some of these uh, places don't even have dine-ins. It has nothing to do with COVID. It has nothing to do with labor shortages. If you do go through the drive through it's an hour wait. And an hour, an hour wait, I can go home and cook a meal and be done in an hour. I mean, I'm trying not to swear here. So, um, it's just, I don't know. In that documentary, there's something else that shocked me is... Is people are now getting too lazy to lose the weight. They're choosing this. Uh, what kind of surgery do they call it? Um, I think it's gastric bypass. Gastric bypass is that what they called I it? I think it is. It's a special surgery to uh, take off the weight, but they don't want to do the work. They they don't want to diet and exercise. And do what it takes to lose the weight. They don't want to put the work in. It's the lazy man's way of, I want to lose the weight. Uh, operate on me and I want to lose weight right now. But they don't want to do the work. If, if you just give them the bypass surgery and they don't do the work, they're not, they're just going to go right back to being obese again. Because they, they haven't changed their habits. They haven't changed their exercise habits, their eating habits. They just pass it off on the taxpayers and the insurance companies to, to pay for their surgeries. I'm going, really? So me, the taxpayer, pays for your surgery. So you don't want to do the work to lose the weight. And that, that just amazes me that that's how lazy Americans have gotten. It, it, it does. And then we saw fat acceptance. They're celebrating being obese. That was the, the heart attack grill. Yes. They celebrated at the heart attack grill. Now, they have a right to exist, but it's so celebrated there. How did it go? If you were like 400 pounds, the meal's free? Something like that. How do they stay in business knowing that 400-pound man's going to eat you out of house and home? I don't get it. Uh, I don't get how they stay in business doing that. But, and if you don't finish, they get a spanking by the nurse. It's pretty wild, the heart attack grill. They they celebrate obesity there. They have these contests. They have this one giant burger. And if you was able to eat it all, wow. Obesity is celebrated. Even the women are celebrating it now. They have a... Uh, beauty pageants for plus size women now it's now celebrated uh tess holiday made the front cover of cosmo mm. and it's celebrated you're beautiful no matter how you are you you look you look beautiful well i don't have a problem with body positivity when it crop but when it crosses the line to endanger your health there's an issue there here Body positivity used to be for people who were missing limbs, who were handicapped. Mm -hmm. it, you know, they have a bionic leg or uh -huh. artificial arm. You know, that was the intent of body positivity. It wasn't for overweight and obese people. It was meant for people who were quadriplegic in a wheelchair and, you know, they can't help how they are. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These are people for missing limbs, and, and it was meant for them, but it's been hijacked by everybody else. Um, the body positivity now celebrates being in bad health. If I was, to, this YouTube video may get, I'm not even monetized, so I don't worry about being demonetized. It's bound to offend somebody, because I'm telling you, you need to get out there, eat right, Get a balanced diet. Get some exercise. Go for a walk, people. You know that's free. You don't need to join a gym. Walking is free. I mean, I it's it just is. You don't need a gym membership. Just go for a walk. Um, you start walking a couple blocks, and then you walk in a mile, then you're walking a couple of miles a day. Um, I don't know. It's just gets me now they have beauty pageants for being morbidly obese you saw that didn't you Sandra? i did what'd you think of that 
I I didn't think there was such a thing. But, you know, usually when you think of beauty pageants, you think of like Miss America. You know, tall, slender, wearing a bikini. You know, right. But now we are celebrating our obesity. It's just. Was celebrating being unhealthy? Really? I mean, it's your body, your choice. I and mean, if you want to celebrate being unhealthy, be my guest. I won't be celebrating with you because we need to get healthy. I don't celebrate my unhealthiness in any way. Uh, I know I'm 20 pounds over and I know I need to get rid of it. That's my responsibility and no one else's. I, Like I said, I take responsibility for my actions. And, uh, but, the, I don't know, this body positivity is just ruining this country. And people just, they're too lazy to cook. They're too lazy to go out and get some exercise. Too easy to watch their diet. They'd rather just go to the McDonald's drive through and that's their dinner. That's their supper. That's their lunch. And that gets expensive. It's getting expensive to eat out. Um... And you say, well, I'm having trouble paying my rent this month. Well, cook at home and save some money. And then I, they, I hear the argument, well, healthy food costs a lot of money. No, junk food costs more than healthy food does. You look at a package of Twinkies and what that costs, you look at what a, a single banana will cost, you guarantee that banana's cheaper than those Twinkies. I guarantee it. I was, uh, my wife and I went to the store one time and, uh, a 10-pound bag of potatoes was cheaper than the number one, cheaper than a, a, a quarter pounder, cheaper than a chocolate shake. We got a 10-pound bag of potatoes at the store for about $3.50. 10-pound bag of potatoes. If you know where to shop, you know where to get them, you can go to... So that's cheaper than a four dollar chocolate shake at mcdonald's we did that we went to the grocery store and the 10 pound bag of potatoes was cheaper than a chocolate shake imagine that so don't give me this line that it costs too much to eat healthy no it costs too much to eat junk food junk food is overpriced it's the healthy food that's now cheap you just gotta know how to prepare it know how to eat it no yeah and i don't know it it's ridiculous the obesity epidemic look it up look up how how many americans are obese how many americans are diabetic it's just incredible i can't believe how bad this country is getting it's everywhere and this could affect the dating market as well when guys and girls say they can't that's because too many Americans are overweight. Women don't want to date a, a fat guy. It's true. Men are the same way. They wouldn't, and if they had a choice, they wouldn't date an obese woman either. Every guy wants the, the Playboy centerfold. But that, that's kind of stretching it, but that's how men think. I'm a guy, and I know how they think. But... Uh, I think everybody's expectations are becoming unrealistic. Um, that's another topic for another video. But uh, that's what I have to say about the obesity epidemic. I mean, just look around you. There's seven fast food joints just in this one city block. I, and it's my opinion that most Americans have forgotten how to cook at home. They've forgotten how to balance their checkbooks. Again, that's another subject. I mean, I do know how to balance my checkbooks. I do know how to cook at home. Sandra knows how to cook at home. Yep, I sure do. And uh, it saves us money. You know, we save money. Sandra, how many minutes am I up to? 18. Okay, we're up to 18 minutes. Um, so... Um, yeah. Well, in this car next to me over here, in this purple car, that person there is morbidly obese. 
I can tell. It, it's just incredible how many people are just so unhealthy. I mean, who do you know isn't taking medications? I'm, I'm 50 years old. I don't take meds. I take a vitamin peel in the morning with my orange juice. That's it. How about you, Sandra? I do the same. Are you on any kind of medications? Nope. What about allergies? Allergies? All I do is I take an over-the-counter allergy medication only when they act up. Only when they act up. I don't have any allergies at all, none that I know about. Um, so, I don't know. I, I don't take any medication. I'm generally healthy. I'm not 200 pounds past my belt buckle and still got teeth and... And I don't know. I've been blessed. But I've also taken care of myself. Sandra knows I take good care of yes, myself. Yes, I do. And uh, there are times I feel out of place. But we, I just want to... This is just a, a rant about obesity. We just watched an obesity um, documentary. And I'm looking at all these fast food joints, and I'm just looking all these people that they won't cook at home. They wonder why they don't have any money because they spend it all going out to eat. They wonder why they're unhealthy because they eat all this processed junk crap. And that's what they're doing. It just amazes me, that's all. Well, that's all i got to say about this video. Thank you.